Oh, hi. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today, I will be reading Marry My Husband, episode 13, 14, and 15. And if you guys want to check out these episodes and read along with me, they are available on webtoons.com. And I also have my Patreon out there. If you guys are interested, it is where you guys can gain early access to my videos and also receive shout outs in my upcoming videos. So if you guys are interested, it is at patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Wait, Juan. I came to, the, to this reunion to see you. I just need a minute of your time. Can we talk? This is her high school crush, by the way, guys. Huh? Why is she tearing up? Marry My Husband, episode 13. I just need a minute, minute of your time. Can we talk? Miss Kane. I've come to pick you up. Uh, uh? What is Mr. Yu doing here? Juwon. I have nothing more to say. Bye. That's what he said to me, but now he wants to talk? Juwon. Let's go, Mr. Yu. Wait, Juwon. Check your old social media account. My old social media account? I haven't logged into my account since graduating high school. All right, here we go. Why is he telling me to check it? Why after all these years? Anyway, how did I end up in this situation? What were you doing in this neighborhood? I was in the area and I saw you in front of the restaurant. You looked like you wanted to get away, so I offered to give you a ride. I accepted his offer in a moment of confusion, but Hyo Yoon probably wouldn't be happy if she found out. Oh, right. Why did you text me? Did you need something? Oh, I took care of it just now. Just now? I feel like I owe you so much. Thank you, Mr. Yu. Huh? What are you talking about? We heard you're a contract worker at UNK Food. Is it true that you only got in because Jiwon wrote you a recommendation? She showed us her business card and said she was an assistant manager there. Why don't you show us yours? If you're a full-time employee, you should also have one. Duh. Not even my parents know that I'm just a contract worker. I should have got to get myself out of the situation. I never said I was a full-time employee. You probably misunderstood. Open recruitment is for full-time employees. Are you kidding me right now? I must have gotten you and Cave confused with another company. <laughs> I didn't mean to lie, I swear. Ugh, this is all Chuan's fault. Come on, I asked you the same question every time we had dinner together and I picked up the bill. Do you have trouble remembering things or something? <laughs> then I guess Chuan was telling the truth. Remember how you said Jiwon had a crush on Yoonho and that's why she stopped you from telling him your feelings? Jiwon said she never did that. What the hell, Jiwon? Is she still hung up on that? That was years ago when we were young. I, I don't even remember anymore, so just drop it. <laughs> Have you always been this way? How can you not remember anything? You totally, totally fooled us for three years. Did you lie because you knew Jiwon wouldn't tell anyone? Is this why you played the victim all these years? I wasn't lying. <laughs> I did hide the truth about my employment, but it was because I knew how much you guys hated Jiwon. I didn't want you guys badmouthing her again. Why do you think everyone badmouthed her in the first place? It was because of you, Sumin. Put her in her place. <gasps> People have been talking sh about her for years because of your lies. You're the one who did that. I told you not to badmouth Jiwon. You guys are the one who talked sh about her behind her back. Why are you trying to put this on me? Wow. This is ridiculous. I can't have a conversation with you. Don't ever contact us again. Come on, guys. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. No, no. This can't be happening. Jiwon was always the one everyone hated and made fun of. No one, no, she had to be that person in order for me to look like the kind and nice one. 
because Su Min Jun is someone who is loved by everyone. But now Ji Won has ruined everything. <laughs> How long have I been in here? What should I say when I go back to the table? My legs are asleep. I know I just, I'll just say I just, a slip of the tongue. If I start crying, they'll, they'll just let it go. Huh? Guys? She's experiencing what Jiwon experienced in the past. Oh, oh how the table has turned. Suman. I had a dream about high school. Well, that's where the trash can is, right? <laughs> I feel bad for Yunho. I have to sit next to her. <laughs> hey, Taesyeon, what the hell? It's okay, Sumin. The trash can is right behind me. I'll just throw it away. I don't want them to pick on you too. I thought it was natural for people to, people to hate me. Uh, Jiwon? Uh, you can't really see the bo blackboard from there. You should sit in the seat starting tomorrow. Until he smiled at me. Hey, the trash can's over there. If I catch you doing that again, I'm gonna throw it in your face. <laughs> That's when, huh? You look much prettier when you smile, Juwan. You should smile more. The kids stopped throwing trash at me through the window. And when I began developing feelings for him, you should write a letter telling him how you feel and put it in his locker. I know you had a crush on Yuhan for a long time. Maybe it's because of Suman's encouragement. Or because of feeling giddy with love. But I decided to tell Yuhan how I felt. Even though I should have known better. That's what you thought of me? I have nothing more to say. Bye. I had forgotten for a minute. That with the exception of Sumit, there was no way anyone could love me. Although my only friend in the world ended up stabbing me in the back too. Huh? Did, did I fall asleep? In Mr. Yu's car? With Mr. Yu's jackets draped over me? Are you awake? He took off his glasses. I I'm sorry, what time is it? It's 10 o'clock. Oh my god, I was out for three hours? I'm so sorry, Mr. Yu. And thank you for the ride. I should get go- T Wait. I'm sorry if I overstepped my bounds, but- I just thought you wouldn't want to see him right now. Minwa, what is he doing in front of my building? He's gone. Mr. Yu sure is sharp. How does he know I'm avoiding Minwa? I should get a new place or something. Things are a little awkward between us right now because of work. Could you move your hand? Uh-uh. He's so close. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss King. Do you love Mr. Park? Why would a boss ask that? Things are a little awkward between us right now because of work. Could you move your hand? He's so close. Uh, I'm sorry, Miss Kang. Do you love Mr. Park? Marry My Husband, Episode 14 Yes, I love him. Because he's my boyfriend. And please don't ask me such personal questions. You're making me uncomfortable. Was that too harsh? <laughs> well, he shouldn't have at leaned in so close. I see. I'm sorry if I was rude. I hope he's not mad. It's late. I should get going. But I still have to thank him. Thank you for everything today. Get home safe, Mr. Yu. Alright. Oh, he's mad. Should I give him a compliment? Alright, Mr. Yu. You look great without glasses, too. <laughs> I can't say the same for you, Miss Kang. Those clothes don't suit you. What? Wow! See you tomorrow at work. Right. That's the Mr. Yu I know. Does this outfit look that terrible? But boom, but boom. She smiled so brightly. 
But why were you crying earlier, Miss K? Was it because of him again? Oh, Juwan and I got matching earrings. But I probably don't look good in them since I have a baby face. Oh, that's not true. I think they look better on, on baby face people like you. And I think you're prettier and cuter than Jiwon Suman. She loves that jerk because he's her boyfriend. He is raging jealous. Impossible. Missed calls from Suman. Nine call missed calls? Ugh. Check your old social media account. Why did he tell me to check my old account? I don't have any friends that's there to look at. So it says, today's status, happy, best friends forever, history, Jiwon Kang. Her email, notice, found an acorn on the street. Profile, what is the meaning of life? Gallery, test, album, cute meerkats I saw at the zoo. Diary 5, notice 3, album 21, favorite 3. Okay, huh? What is all this? Yunho Bae. October 3rd, 2002. What are you up to? How so? I've been having fun. I bet you're having fun. I haven't heard I haven't heard from you in a while and it seems like you changed your number. I asked Suman but she said she doesn't know your number either. If you see this, please text me. That let's have a drink since we're both over 21 now. February 15th, 2002. I didn't see you at the graduation ceremony. Did you miss your alarm? Anyway, congrats on your graduation. And for getting into school in Seoul. Laugh out loud. Kind of bummed I didn't get to tell you in person. Here's my number. I'll be waiting for your call, Juwan. May 2nd, 2003. Hey, I started my military service soon. I hope to see a comment from you when I get discharged. <laughs> I, I'll i think of it as a present. Anyway, I'm off to serve my country. July 3rd, 2005. Good afternoon. Sergeant Yoon Ho Baek reporting for duty. I'm done with my military service. I wonder if you're, you'll be graduating college soon. Congrats in advance. Laugh out loud. December 9th, 2007. Looks like you still haven't read any of my messages. Of these messages. I guess no news is good news. I hope you're well. I'm going to visit Seoul soon, so if you see this, please call me. I still have my old number. April 12th, 2009. I, haven't, I heard we're having a gra high school reunion at Gangnam. Are you coming? If you are, I'll go too. But if you aren't, I'm not gonna bother either. I still haven't changed my number because of you. Yoonho's been leaving me messages. But why? Bzz. It's an unknown number. I wonder who it is. Hello? Uh, it's me, Jie. I called the number on your business card because there's something I didn't get to say to you. About what you said in the restroom earlier. What is it? Does she want to argue with me over the phone now? Does she think she can walk all over me? We're sorry, Jiwon. Uh, we must have caused you so much pain. We believed the lies Suman told us and thought badly of you. We're so sorry. What? We shouldn't have badmouthed you without even checking the facts. And I feel like it's so shameless of us to apologize to you after all these years. Oh, and you don't have to accept our apology right away. <laughs> if you can ever forgive the things we did to you, please just give us a call. That was a sincere, that was a sincere apology. To be honest, even though you guys apologized to me, I don't think I have it in me to see you again. Alright, we understand. But... It probably took a lot of courage to apologize to me, so I'll try to be brave too. Thanks for reaching out. All my anger and resentment melted away. Really? So you'll accept our apology? Okay, call us anytime. Thank you, Jiwon. Oh, yeah, one more thing. I think Yuho wants to get in touch with you. Oh my god, oh my god, what is going on with you too. Miss Kang, I don't know who picked out that blouse for you, but it looks perfect on you. And your hair looks fabulous. I wonder which salon you went to. <laughs> and my gosh, Mr. Yu, you look so much more handsome without your glasses. You look just like 
Hyun Bin, the actor. The two of you look like a couple in a movie. <laughs> Hyun, that's enough. Please get to work. All right. I feel kind of shy, but I hope I'll get used to it. Good more. Uh. What the heck? She looks like an actress. Is that Jiwa? Jiwa. <laughs> what happened? What do you mean, Mr. Park? You changed. Your style has changed. So? Do I look bad? N no, you look great, really. Oh, ooh, the rage! You look gorgeous, but wear something else to work. I'm scared other people will try to hit on you. <laughs> Especially that one. He usually wears the same necktie and crappy glasses, but it looks like he dressed up today to impress g -Wan. How about we go on a date tonight? We haven't had a date in a while. Oh, sorry. I have plans. They don't seem like a couple. At this point, I would've just like broken up with him. Ding, Jiwon. Over here. <laughs> I read all your messages. Why did you keep writing to me? Why else? Because I had a crush on you, Jiwon. All throughout high school. You're joking, right? Although, in the end, I ruined everything because of a silly misunderstanding. I'm sorry for hurting you. I just wanted to tell you how I felt. But I... I know that you're seeing someone. And I don't want to put you in an awkward position. Let's be friends again. Friends who check in, in with each other. Talk over a cup of coffee and go out to dinner from time to time. Would that be okay? That is such a healthy friendship right there. Like, yeah, you guys had a crush for on each other, but now y'all can be friends, you know? And I think in real life, that's a healthy thing. As long as you guys understand y'all are, you know, what's it called? Platonic. You know, you, every person have every right to be friends with the opposite sex, you know? Sure. Uh, let's be friends again. I learned a lot of things that night while catching up with Yuno. Suman switched out the letter I'd written him with a different one. Stalking me like a creep, so disgusting and gross, before I tell every- And he liked me a lot in high school. But I couldn't tell him that I actually had a crush on him as well. If Suman hadn't sabotaged our relationship, if I'd married you, someone who has loved me for years, would I have been happy? Would you have held my cold, dead body in your warm embrace and mourned for me? Uh, Miss Kang! Mr. Yu? What is going on? Why does he always show up when I'm feeling pant pathetic? Mr. Yu, what are you doing here at this hour? I'm sorry, I didn't call first. It looked like Mr. Park was here again. Oh, I, I guess he came by because I didn't answer his calls. Still, you should be care- Mr. Yu, Minwon is my boyfriend and it's none of your business. Please don't come to my house again because of him. You're avoiding him. Because you're scared. Why do you call someone like that your boyfriend? I know you don't love him. The look on your face says it all. I have no idea why you're putting up with him when you're so smart about everything else. What's your point? Don't cry alone. I can't keep letting you do this to yourself. It's kind of very too personal, especially if it's like a boss to an employee. I don't know, it's kind of like overstepping a bit. What's your point? Don't cry alone. I can't keep letting you do this to yourself. Marry my husband, episode 15. Does he, he even know about this? Sorry? I know that you two are in a relationship. Don't you feel bad about doing this to her? In a relationship? Yes, it's just my guess, but isn't it true? Please stay out of my personal life, or, or else I'm going to tell Hyun everything. We don't have that kind of relationship. Hyun Yu is my little sister. Oh, what? <clears throat> Nani? <laughs> What? Please don't tell anyone at the office since it's a sensitive subject. 
you probably know this, but I didn't give her any preferential treatment. Please don't think there's anything weird going on. Chi Yu Yu and Hu Hu Yun Yu are siblings, and I'm not seeing anyone at the moment. Although I do have feelings for someone. Who? Ring click. What do you want? It's late. I'm writing a project proposal, so be quick. My one and only sister. Jiwan knows you're my sister. What? You said no one would find out. Just pretend I didn't tell you. My ears hurt. Did you go see Miss King at this hour? Don't tell me you went to her house again. Seriously, how many times do I have to tell you? Take things slow. Don't pressure her. Ugh, this is so frustrating. You're clearly never dated anyone. You never dated anyone either. Whatever. Just forget it. You're going on a business trip next week, right? I think it's a good thing. I'll see what I can do while you're away. So don't do anything spontaneous, okay? I only I only agreed to help you because I don't like Mr. Park. I don't want Miss Kang seeing a sleaze ball like that. Min Wan Park and Sumin Jion. I'm pretty sure everyone knows they're flirty with each other. Sumin, that snake, Miss Kang might let that kind of behavior slide since they're like longtime friends. Ugh, but not me. <sighs> don't cry alone. Why did I have to die all alone? As so many people who cared for me. Would things have been different if I had more courage? No. Don't kid yourself, Juwon. You didn't come back to life just so you could receive love and attention. You came back for revenge, to ruin their lives just as they have ruined yours. I'm not going to let fate repeat itself. What's this? Just in case you haven't eaten yet, I picked up something for you while getting my breakfast. It's an egg sandwich, is that okay with you? Of course, I love egg sandwiches. Did you get home late last night? <laughs> yeah, I was so tired I fell asleep right away, sorry. It looks like she's finally back to her old self after being distant for the past few weeks. From now on, call me if you end up staying out late. I'll come pick you up. But I'll let it go since she's so pretty. He's so freaking shallow. Miss Kane, you seem to, to be dressing up a lot these days. Oh, shut up. Miss Kane, you seem to be dressing up a lot these days. Are you guys, are you meeting a guy after work again? There she goes again. She came to work looking gorgeous yesterday, so I thought she had a date with Mr. Park. But I found out, found him all alone in the office, so we ended up getting off work together. <laughs> Who did you meet last night, Juwan? Oh, just a friend I ran into at the reunion. She saw a guy. Alright, Minwan, you told me I look better without my glasses, so I've been wearing contacts. What do you think? You look great. Let's have dinner tonight. Sure. What the hell? Why are they all lovey-dovey with each other? Jiwon King, look at you. So full of yourself. Just because you dressed up and put on contacts doesn't mean you're better than me. You hear me? That's it, Sumin. I'm sure Minwon seems more appealing to you since you can't have your way. I know you always have to take what you want. I'm going to use that to my advantage that's a good panel right there maybe i could draw that one because i've got you in the palm of my hand i'm sorry i'm late <laughs> my bus got stuck in traffic good morning miss king good morning huyun uh, now that i look i'm looking at him he and huyun do have similar features no i'm not seeing anyone at the moment Although, I do have feelings for someone. There's no way. Congratulations! <laughs> Ms. Yang proposal has chosen for, ha, was chosen for the company's new product launch. 
It will launch this summer, so be prepared to work long hours. Once the development team puts together some samples, begin test marketing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I'm happy that my proposal was chosen, but who's going to take care of Ji Yunji when I work overtime? I'm going on a business trip soon, so I won't be here to oversee the project. I trust that Miss Yang will keep things running smoothly while I'm gone. Yes, sir. I won't let you down. I'll be able to get a, number, get a promotion if I nail this project. I need to do a good job. I'll be even busier than I am now. My sweet Jionji. I'm sure she misses her mommy. But I should just go for it. I have to seize this opportunity in order to provide a good future for Yunji. Ding. Huh? From Miss Kang. Miss Yang, I have a favor to ask. Miss Kang? What? I'd love to have you on my team, but I'm not sure about Suman. I know that you two are good friends, but this project is really important to me. You probably want to help Suman get a full-time position, but to be honest with you, she still has a lot to learn. Oh, that's not why I'm asking. Mr. Kim is trying to sabotage his project. There isn't much time left until the launch. You can't afford to deal with the, any setbacks. I know, but what does that have to do with Suman? Mr. Kim likes Suman. What? what? He's so much older than her. Does he know that he's being unrealistic or did he just forget all that re reality like his hair? That is such a roast. <laughs> well, that's why he's bald. Nickname, Octopus. <laughs> you're right. So what you're saying is, if I have Suman on my team, then Mr. Kim won't be able to sabotage the project, right? Yes, you need Suman Jion in order to make this project a success. Good morning. I'm Jiran Yang from Marketing Team 1, and I'll be in charge of this project. As, all, as you all know, this project will be a joint effort between the marketing team and the development team. Let's all work hard to launch this product in time for the summer season. I'm Jiwon King from Marketing Team 1, and I will assist Ms. Yang with overseeing the project. It's nice to meet you all. I'm Jun Seok Lee from Development Team 2. I'm in charge of producing the samples. Because we have a tight deadline, our team will put extra care into making these. Here are the three samples for test marketing. Thank you for getting these done by the deadline, Mr. Lee. I'm sure you had a busy schedule. They look better than expected. I think we can test these out right away. The samples have been secured. Now, the problem is Suman. I'm so glad we're on the same team, Mr. Park. <laughs> Me too. I had her join the team in order to keep Mr. Kim in check. But if she does anything to get Mr. Miss Yang in trouble, I will make her pay. Sorry? You want me to go to the grocery store and survey people? Uh, is there anything else I can do? I I'm a really shy person. It's a crucial step in launching a new product. I chose you because of your bright personality. I thought you would leave a good impression on our potential customer. But if you don't want to do it, I'll ask Huyun instead. Uh, no. Give Huyun the oppor op opportunity to go full time? Never. I I'll give it a go. I'm on the same team as Minwon now, and I don't want to work with Mr. Kim. Ugh, I hate this. Joan Yang. Come try. Yoon Food's new salad. Our new salad kit. How dare you make me do this? <laughs> There's no way I'm going to do as you say. Oh, I just love that Jiwon has a backbone, guys. Like, this is amazing. She is playing it smart. Yes, like, as much as we want the lead to know, to feel the love and just, like, forget everything and just be loved, she has to be realistic. Even if she dropped the whole revenge thing, Suman's gonna keep on chasing after whatever she's whatever Ji Won's getting, right? So she does have to complete her mission of finishing the revenge. 
So overall, this is such a great three episodes. So if you guys enjoy my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments on how y'all feel about this three episode. Like, holy moly, it is amazing. All right, guys, I'm out. Bye.